Hello and welcome to my Final Fantasy XIV Triple Triad Guide. I thought this would be a bit easier than doing a, a text-based one because it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to explain some of the rules and the regulations and honestly just getting kind of strategies down and how to play because it's not only an offensive style game where you have to beat numbers uh, the higher your card number beats uh, the higher uh, the lower number of your opponent's card it's also a defensive based game as well uh, which i will show you so this guy in the gold saucer does talk you through a tutorial so we'll go through that together before getting on to the more uh, the more detailed rules uh, so yes yeah, quite simple you talk to anyone in the hall there's also a battle hall uh, you can challenge real players as well uh, there's also uh, fortnightly tournaments you can enter as well, which we'll come to later. But for now, yeah, he's going to invite us to a triple tribe match. And the first thing he's going to show us is what the rules are and what the fee is and what the winnings are. Like so. So all open. It's quite simple. Both decks are placed faced up. So you can see all of your opponent's cards and your opponents can see all of your cards. Um, there are no regional rules at the moment because this is a tutorial it's going to cost us five mgp to get in we're going to get 10 back and a possible spriggan card so this is uh, i think it's a randomized um percentage of getting uh, this card so we'll start the challenge so i'm going to start with my beginner deck uh this is a similar deck to the one we're playing just to keep things fair all right so you're always blue on the left your opponent's always red it randomizes who goes first so triple triad is played by placing cards on a three by three grid the player to act first is decided at random a variety of rules exist to change how the game is played but let's start off with an easy one all open can't keep up i'll go first show you how it's done i'll also extend the time limit which gives me a chance to talk to you so now it's your turn place a card in one of the empty spaces adjacent to my card now you can see here that the chocobo has uh, a one on the left, a three on the top, a seven on the right, and a two on the bottom, which means the seven is quite strong. Uh, the rest are quite weak. So you want to find a card that's... Sh Let's look at his one, for example. So we want a card that's higher than one on the right side. So, for example, the four on the right of this card beats the one. The two on the right of this card beats the one. The Moogle does not beat the one, so we don't want to play that but also we've got to look at defensive uh, ideas so for example the two on this card beats the one and not only that the one on the left of this card if we place it here it's now defensive nothing the opponent does can take this card on the one so we beat it with a two we've also defensively got a five on the top and a five on the bottom so anything that this guy does yeah he's just going to go up there so what we can do now is we can think oh we can take this three not only that we can also defend this three uh, so a good card to use for this one it's probably this card here it's an all-round card nothing high nothing low just a mid-range decent ish card so we'll place that there which means we now have a four to defend on the left and a five to defend on the top which he can't beat we know that because all his cards are open i've had a glance at his cards nothing he has can fit in this corner and do anything useful at all so this is an interesting play. He's played his seven at the bottom, which is his strongest number, and left open the two on the left and the two on the right, which means we can beat it with this card here. So again, defensively, we can put it there. Nothing he can do can take this corner card. He's just gone straight in there. He's not even thinking at this point. Um, so then we can use our seven to comfortably beat the three on the bottom, like so. And then he's going to go in the top corner. Nothing he can do. His cards aren't strong enough. We win. Simple. All right. Nice. Let's go on to uh, let's go on to part two.